All right, hello and welcome back to Anno 2017. Now, last time we finished here in Megatron and we do have the demand now for the academy that my people want. So those guys here, the researchers, have the demand for the academy. I mean, they're not theoretically needing that at all at this point, but they still want to have that mission here. And yeah, we need to build it and maintain it for five minutes. And there's the perfect spot here in the middle of Megatron. We actually need to place two buildings there. The first one is the information center. That's this guy here, and that's all. that has at least a huge radius of influence there, so it's a perfect place for it. And it's also an amazing building, what we can see here, look at that. Now, beside this one here, we do want to have the academy. The academy is over here, and there it is, costing me 10,000 of credits there, so really a lot, but just look at that building once again. The influence area is fine for me. It is just perfect in here in the middle and what we can do here with the academy is actually it's just a research building for projects that we can now start with it. So we could start those projects that cost me some licenses and some money, quite a lot of money. And with that we can then um, you know, unlock new um, items that we can then build in the laboratory for example. And this is very important here if we want to have huge um, buildings like the water dam. We definitely do need um, some items from this one here and I think what we can have here echo balance is something like for the oil tycoon global trust there is somewhere somewhere in here there should be something where we can clean um, some oil carpets then at some point we have to find that but this is fine we do have a bit of space here what I want to do is having a little garden in there or fountain or something like that we haven't really looked at the tech um, ornament building so far this is looking strange it's just a patch of grass really and as you can see also lots of them here a statue here for example we could have a statue in the middle something like that but in this case here let's just have a basic yeah not this yeah something like that so people can actually go in there and around it we have a few ornaments then something something more green no this is not working at all so very strange ornaments that we have here with them in the middle something like that that should work anyway we do have that and we can also have now a new um, politics on the information center so right now we do have the need for information but we can add new things to it so for this one here we do have more tax income for this one here productivity and research fertility is increased this one here fire disaster protection and this one here increases the living space in all tech residences allowing us to have more tax than ready Unfortunately, there's nothing that reduces the demand for stuff. So we're just going to have the space saving exactly. tips so we can have more tax in those buildings then and ultimately house more people. Now, we do have also an energy problem here once again. So let's also solve that here right now. I think, oh yeah, we do need the echoes for that, for some wind parks once again. Even though we could, could we have that? Yes, we could also have the solar power generator here. Um, we do just need a bit of glass then. And then we can have it and that's just a huge one and just look at eden i've expanded it so it's looking like that now it's just amazing how it looks we can have some ornaments in here in between then that something that fits to it probably but right now let's just keep it like that fine and we do have 380 influence with that so really massive um, amount of it now since we do have now also the information center my researchers have everything they need so it's finally time to lower the tax demand for researchers so we can upgrade them. We do have enough um, resources or well also goods in our storage here. What I can do in the meantime is we can have a few more upgrades. For those guys here we do have enough carbon in our storage here anyway. So I'm just going to upgrade a few more of them here. Remember this is where we have the monument soon. So we do need another laboratory here as far as I can see. So let's have one. In this area here just like that is looking this is looking fine oh no yeah this is looking better then for the laboratory yeah so we're going to have it here a smaller library then for this area here we can have some ornaments again now we can also upgrade all those um, lab assistants here to some researchers very good and now, research or taxes is the lowest here for them, so we should see. 
yeah, very good. Researchers do now want to be upgraded. So in this case here, I think it's finally time to go for the next civilization stages for my techs here. Let's have a look at them. The geniuses. Another huge building. And with that, we have the first geniuses now in Megatron. That unlocks new buildings. We should now also see the monument. There it is. So we do need 1,250 geniuses for this Science Forum Foundation. And other than that, oh, it's not war with me, very good. And other than that, we do now have lots and lots of new demands once again. So the laboratory instruments would be the first resource they want. But right now, let them just grow. They pay me some good taxes there. And we need to grow now our genius population here in Megatron. But so far, so good. We are producing, yeah, we are producing the tools ourselves anyway. So we just need to wait again for a few tools here to come in. Now that's that. What I've also done in the last episode is expanding also my health food production here. Um, we are now producing quite a lot of health food. So hopefully that problem has been solved. As we can see, lots of health food is this one here. No, what ship is actually transporting the health food? We need to check that. I think it's this one here and that would be bad. Yes, it's this one here because that's a slow old ship. So let's use Goliath as our new ship on the health food. Let's go down here. There's the health food and Venture is not our ship anymore on this one here, but Goliath is going to be our new one here. There it is, the cargo liner delivering all that health food and it's a lot. Look at that, 200 are in store to Eden. Of course, health food is low in Eden if we have an old trading ship on it and yeah, can't deliver enough of it. So Goliath now, he's going to be full most likely. Oh yes, he is. And now we can continue because they're all full here, it seems. Yes, we need to upgrade our depots here so we can carry more goods than to the depot and also have a bit of increased storage here. That's it. Very good. So hopefully health food is all solved. And what I want to do here in beautiful Eden, we still don't have enough buildings here in this city here to my for my taste. So I want to have another two more districts actually that we can have. So let's go to the Echoes here real quick and let's have the community center. We can have another community center here going to um, relocate it somehow. We're going to have another one here. So we really um, fill these spots here, those empty spots that we have. And also two more community centers down here. This one here is another block that fits in like that. And here we can have another block then of buildings. Let's make it six tiles and then the center itself and fit it in here. So now we have community centers, so four more districts. Each community center represents a district in my opinion, or in my case. And now we just place a few more streets to those guys here. And then if I calculate it correctly, we should be able to build this one here. Warning. And then, oh, there we have an ambush. Oh yes, there's still the mission um, for that. That's actually two ships that are attacking here right now. This one here though needs to go to the next location, which is that ship here for that mission here. To solve it very good on his way back again now here in eden we do have enough building resources and the those guys here the workers really only need tea and fish and we have just an amazing amount of it so here we have the next block fitting in very good going all the way over here and also here and then i'm going to delete some of them again of course because we will need some service buildings here Probably the last block here and probably also another smaller block here. Very good. We do have way too many building materials for my taste anyway. So let's just have more blocks. Mm, how's this looking? I think we will need to have, yeah, like that. Then we have those buildings here and also here once again, another bigger block. Looking good. That's a lots of taxes that, that will be coming in here. Crime rate has level. High crime rate once again. I don't know why my people are so criminal. And also here, very good. Another huge district. And Eden will soon be finished, what I have to say. So there are no more districts coming for Eden after this one here. Since we do have done enough buildings. That's this block here, so we still have another block here that we still need to fill in. So 
something like hmm can we squeeze it in yeah we could squeeze it in but i have to be careful about the street there this one here is working having a block here and then probably finishing it here and here and then we can have some green area there if we want to we need to have a street there once again in here and that community center will need some relocation let's do that quickly before they revolt against this yeah something like that is working because now we can squeeze in one more or two more buildings here and then having another block of houses here and here very good and actually, let's have a look at that again. Yeah, I do need to move it now by one. That's fine. Just here. And then it fits there. Unfortunately, we don't have the blueprint mode anymore in 2070. I really miss that mode. It's so powerful for planning the cities. And in this case, everything is permanent what we built here. So, yeah. Do we still have resources? Yes, I'm surprised. Also here. Perfect. Going down here. So beautiful apartments here just beside the beach. So we're probably going to have a promenade here or something like that later on. And also another block here. So this is not looking so beautiful here at the moment. We can have, let's see, some ornaments in here. Yeah, not that, but a nice fountain perhaps or something like that. Smaller stature. Nothing fits really. Some trees would fit. Right, so that's looking fine. And yeah, those districts are finished with that. We can, of course, we still will add some service buildings to them and upgrade them at some point. And up here, I still have some buildings left or some space left that I need to fill. So let's also have some buildings here. Something like that. And then also another street again. And here we could probably have, yeah, a smaller park or something like that. I don't want to have buildings everywhere. So here we can have a little green area then. And here we're just going to have some more buildings. I still have building materials. Very good. Also here now we finish it off. Let's get those streets there up here. I will definitely need more fish and tea then after this. No production chain can supply that amount. Very good. And a little park here. We can see that park. Let's get rid of that building there actually. And then we have a little central park there as well as this one here anyway. Right, and also some more buildings here. How many building modules I have? 57. Right, so I really don't want to continue now. This is just way too much anyway. Right, so that's that. Another expansion. So we get a few, no, a few more um, of those beautiful beautiful um, districts here that's that and next up now we really have to wait and just see how how it affects my income here as you can see fish is already going down so what i can do is here along the coast up here to have a few more of those fishy fishing huts right so here Game 
here. And also, yeah, we can have another coastline here then. With a few more of them. Right, and we're actually out of building modules for now. Perfect, that's fine. Now let's have a look back at Megatron. Looking fine here. We can still have some upgrades of those geniuses. Also this one here. And I can already tell that this is going to be my favorite city of all of them. Even though the Echoes also look really fantastic. But I do love these um, tier 3 buildings here. And we still do need quite a few of them. Echo goods are looking fine. Except for the functional food. We probably will want to uh, upgrade that production here further. And yeah, we still need to wait a bit there on the tools. Fine. How is the Cyberpunk looking? Cyberpunk is still totally... Yeah, messed up here with the oil. I wonder if it ever disappears or if we really need to go into researching something here for the oil. That might be a problem then. Right. Now, how's the mission looking? Oh, we need to go back. So we have our ship down here. There's the proof. And let's deliver it up here to Professor once again. And the balance is looking amazing right now. So no more mo money problems for quite some time. What I can also do is let's have a look. Purchase the last share probably 60,000. But it gives me an additional balance of 480. So that's worth it. You know, so we have more money than available here in our balance. And we definitely get it back. And there's no more hostile takeover here from Eden. And what I can do now is since I don't need to invest any more money into those shares. I could start purchasing some shares then from Soko, for example, once the cooldown is off. You know, so here I've got a cooldown of nine minutes and then I could purchase here more shares. With three shares, I could already take over that island here. I don't know, Soko is really busy with fighting the pirate there all the time. So he's probably got um, not that much money there. As you can see, they're still at war with each other. So still some fighting going on. Now that's that, geniuses. Um, we do need more tools up here. I think we do have so many tools, yes in Eden, it's incredible. Let's get all those tools, 200 tons of it, to Megatron. Okay. That's going to be important. And we can also turn in the quest now, there's some licenses again, we got 3400 licenses now. That's a lot of research that we can do on our items then down here. Right. We still have that, and I still also want to go for some copper drills, then we should have some of them now here. Three copper drills are waiting, very good, because we definitely want to have them ready then once we need them. Alright, underwater base that we have here, functional food is still a problem, so let's have a look at that. Do we have no more algae? So we definitely, definitely built enough of those factories, what we need is now algae farms. So when we go to the text there... And then we have those algae farms here. And yeah, we can still squeeze in quite a few of them. So here we have a bit of space left. And here we have a bit of space left. Where I can squeeze in one more. We still have enough energy, right? Oh yeah, that was just enough energy now that I had. Very good. And then we definitely can also squeeze in those six fields here. Very good for some more algae. We don't want my people to starve here in Megatron, in that amazing city. I think they do need tools to build, right? Yes, two tools each time, so we cannot really build any more. Waiting for the tools, there they are, very good. Let's unload them all. And at the same time, let's also get the copper drills and deliver them down here to Helios, where we do need it, because I think, yeah, is it's below 10,000 again, so we do need to replenish it quickly then that. Now, while that is on its way, we do have some materials ready again to upgrade. Let's get more geniuses. Also more buildings expand, uh, options expanded. Very good. Perfect. What has been unlocked? The bionic suit and just look at that production chain now the bionic suit is probably the most complex production chain in the game you have lots of stuff that you need to fulfill for this bionics factory here lots of energy that you need lots of buildings and we probably need two um, underwater bases just for that one here 
but that's something for another time. Right now, I'm focusing on the getting our geniuses up here. here. I think I'm on the brink How many more for the monument? Oh, we're pretty close now for the monument. So just a few more. We can still upgrade. there is an ongoing investigation over here so I cannot upgrade those guys here for now but we're pretty close and then we can also start with the science forum foundation so that's the second monument so soon we'll be able to have two monuments then going up and what we can do now um, to close this episode in a decent manner we can actually have the first monument foundation then here we just need a bit more um, building modules for that so that's a really minor problem Let's get a few of them. We have the copper drills here anyway. So let's unload them and let's get the ship here with some building modules and deliver that to Eden. Very good, on its way now. And we can activate the copper drills here. Boom, there it is. And now we are replenishing copper again in Helios, very important. while my other ship arrives here now for the building modules and we can now place a monument finally here into the city center something we wanted to do all along now we just need to find a right spot for it so in this case yeah this is looking fine we can see the direction with the main stairs actually hmm let's see we cannot rip or we cannot relocate it anymore afterwards. That's something to consider. But this is looking fine, and let's build it. There it is. There we have our first monument, the Leisure Center Foundation. Fifty thousand credits costed me, and now we can finally start construction with that. So the first phase is really easy, and then it gets more complex, of course, as we advance through the stages here in the Leisure Center Foundation. What we need for construction also is a depot rather close to it so we have a depot here just for temporarily until we finish the monument and then we can get rid of that here again and then we just need a street connection of course and here we're going to think about something then as the entrance here you know because on either side we do have the stairs also here so that we can have then a beautiful um, ornament around this one here and yes let's start with the building of the Leisure Center Foundation. We do have the energy for it. It does cost me quite a bit of energy to 120 and it does cost me 750 balance. That's amazingly lot. That's quite a lot there and this is the first stage. We can already see the next stage then does need some timber and some um, tools and the last stage does need um, tools and glass. But what I can see already is that we have enough echo executives to finish all four stages. So there's nothing now hindering us anymore from finishing this one here. It's just taking a bit of time now as we finish it off with that beautiful view here of the foundation. We just should enjoy it because soon we're going to have a big monument standing here. Stay tuned. <laughs> 